You got it. Did I get it? Yeah, you're good. Oh my gosh, look how black it was. <laughs> Are you going snowmobiling today or what? Dude, no. I thought this was the perfect opportunity to try my new True Work uh, overall, maybe? Is it wow. a coverall, overall? I don't know. It's got knee pads, though, so wow. I'm happy about that. And I'm actually pretty warm. I figured it'd be windy up here on the Perkins mountaintop. <laughs> and it is. I was right. Here's what I want to do. We're going to put some zip board on this, right? The green board. But the bottom edge is going to touch the concrete. So what do we do about that? Well, we could hold it up, but instead, I'd like to just wrap the bottom with zip tape, make a nice little cap so it can sit tight, and we're gonna put a heavy, heavy bead of Lexel behind it and down on the corner where the wood meets the concrete so that I think we'll give ourselves the best chance of it being sealed behind the flashing. Cause that's yeah. just, that's just a, another preventative measure. The flashing will also be sealed down into a cut in the concrete that I believe will completely seal it off so that it doesn't matter, but I'm not into taking chances. Unless it's buying Jeeps. <laughs> <laughs> We should talk about the Jeep. It's almost it's almost reassembled, actually. And it has a new motor. It has, new engine. Oh, it has a new <laughs> engine. It has a new clutch. It has new tires, because new wheels. It blew up, right? New leaf springs, new uh, shocks. You know, it's going to have new seats, um, new windshield kind of surround. What's um, not going to be new? Uh, just a tub, really, like the metal chunk that everything is based <laughs> off of. Else is new. Yeah, no, it's looking beautiful. You could have just bought all those parts and just built a Jeep from scratch. Almost. I could have bought a new Jeep and been done with it. I could have. I could have. I mean, I got it for twenty five hundred bucks, right? It was a good deal. Um, no, sounds like it. But just you paid hey, five G's for it, you said. No, I paid twenty five hundred dollars. Oh, okay. But I will say, and it doesn't matter, so I can say I've already spent more than ten grand total. Ooh. <laughs> yes. I'm serious. What? The 25? Doesn't watch this channel. The 20, my, my wife, hey, listen, I went in and I found out that the engine was cracked, right? Yeah. You did that? The block. Yeah. Well, I was thinking, ooh, you know, I told the guy to get a new engine. And yeah. then I was thinking, should I tell my wife? Yeah. Right, that I bought a new engine. Well, I think you just did. And um, <laughs> well, anyway, I, I wasn't going to tell her, but I was going to come back from the shop and be like, honey, you wouldn't believe it. This thing, it runs like brand new. I mean, if <laughs> I didn't never know better, they would have, I would have thought they put a new engine in this thing. I think we need to get a broom on that. Yep, yep, That's yep. That's a lot of junk right there. Mm -hmm. Get out of here, ladder. Touch my effing ladder again. <laughs> oh, you had that set up to do yeah, this, didn't you? Well, I gotta sweep this place up here. Good fit, guys. Why is she so long? <laughs> One great thing about using Lexel is that it's not water-based. So we can use it out here when it's below freezing and it won't freeze, it'll still cure out. Whereas a water-based caulk, it would freeze and I don't know what would happen. It probably wouldn't work very good. Well, I know this wall isn't structural, but it's sure looking like it's gonna hold this deck up a lot better than these stupid posts. Well, that's what James said, that <laughs> deck's gonna be super strong. Yeah, you see this post is only on by about a quarter of the girder on it. I mean, it's no big deal. That's all it needs to be. That's crazy. Been walking all around on that for years. <laughs> Man, I had coffee on that deck. <laughs> my wife in my own hands. Squeeze, baby. Squeeze up and get you one of them How workouts for your form. How long is this? He cut it, 94. Well, I'm caught in the rabbit cage. <laughs> it's really cold, but you put enough clothes on, it's pretty well, you stay warm. <laughs> ah, there wow. you go. I did this, I don't know, I cut this excess off just because I didn't want it to be doubled up too Yeah, much. that's probably a good idea. Yeah, this is kind of a unique situation where we have two window openings that kind of overlap like that. We might even buzz all those flanges. Yeah, so they fit in there. I'm thinking just put them where they go. And they just make one cut? Yeah, probably a good idea. Just run the nails right in the crack. I like construction most of the time, but 
Uh, I gotta fix my shirt because if this goes down my pants, I'm not gonna be real happy about it. Yeah, uh, I don't think that's gonna feel real nice. We've got this little transom window framed here. That would be the top of it aligned with these other windows. And now I'm thinking about moving it up on top of that because one, you're just kind of looking at the bushes through there instead of the sky. It'd be nice to see sky. And secondly, if I ever got a Murphy bed and it wanted to flip up, I think it would cover the window, which would kind of, mm, not as good. So that's going to make it different height here, but I think we're just going to do it. Okay, we got it raised up there about a foot. I think that's going to be better. What do you think? I think it's great. Which one is the window? That one or this yeah, one? No, th yeah, that one. Oh, okay. It's great. I love <laughs> Made it. some cripples there. Mm, she might be a little long. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to take a little off. <laughs> this has been the slowest framing job ever. Having to cut all these different. Sorry, Jay. That's my bad. Ah! Oh my gosh. All right, that's gonna be it. I got a feeling. Oh yeah, that's it. Yep, I got you. That's good, Ray. Ray and I are gonna take a break to tell you about the goodies we got from today's video sponsor, Vever. Today we're checking out the Vever Stand Airless Paint Sprayer, and we're also checking out the Vever Gym Floor Mats, which I'm gonna use in the addition to put our workout equipment on. So airless paint sprayers are great because they don't require an air compressor or any outside mechanism to spray the paint out. So this is everything you need, and at a price of $159, that's the lowest price I think I've ever seen a paint sprayer like this. And you could literally just have one paint job and this would make sense to buy it. Now we do own a commercial airless paint sprayer, but I don't love using it because it's so heavy and bulky and hard to move around. Whereas this is really lightweight, easy to maneuver, easy to get around, move it room to room. So I, I really prefer this smaller, lighter type over the huge commercial ones. So this is a 650 watt unit with a 7 8 horsepower motor, and it delivers a maximum spray speed of 0.24 gallons per minute, which is pretty good. And it also has modes ranging from 500 PSI, which would be like for a roller that you attach and you pump the paint out of that, up to 2,900 PSI, and that'd be for like doing some sort of rough textured surface. This unit also came with the spray gun and the tip and everything you need, including a foot extension wand, which is really nice because at my height, I'm just too short to get an eight foot ceiling and a good spray pattern without an extension like that. So this should get you where you need to go on most standard height ceilings. Secondly, today we're checking out this exercise floor mat. It's a half inch thick, it's non-slip on both sides. Nice and squishy, but firm enough to keep your exercise equipment in place without rocking around. It came in a 24 square foot box and they're kind of a modular design so you could click together multiple boxes to make a bigger area than this if you had a large piece of equipment. But this is really nice, even for me just kneeling down working on projects like I do in the garage. Makes a nice soft surface that stuff isn't gonna roll around on. I'm really happy with it. If you're interested in getting the Vever Gym floor mats like this or the paint sprayer, there's links to both of those in our video description down below the video and also a link to the Vever activity of the month. So check that out. And if you use code VVPRO, you'll get an extra 5% off. It's an awesome deal. Thank you Vever for sponsoring our video. Let's get back to work. Ray and I are putting this corner in, and uh, this is only a two inch, two inch piece, so I'm having a hard time, you know, getting anything to catch there. And I don't have any longer screws, so I'm just kind of making my own little four inch like this. Wow, I hope I never need to take that out of there. <laughs> That's a deep diver. Not my problem. <laughs> Not our problem. Bro. I guess it caught though. Oh yeah, it did. That's kind of a weird situation we had here too. We had this framing right here and then two inches to this wall and we're like how do we do a corner end up having to rip a two inch sliver and then nail a piece of framing to the back of that yeah like this inside corner and we ran all the way up too ran so all the way up <clears throat> it will make it a little trickier to insulate but you can still get in there 
which is good. Mm -hmm. Insulation. Equals, Insulation going equals on. Equals good. We've made it down to this corner where it connects to the house and this stonework that sticks out. And it's just going to be a weird, non-conventional type thing. Already I can see, by the way, Jamie's doing this corner backwards the way we'd normally do it. And I'm assuming you do that just to kind of get it plumbed up and get our wall plate established or our ceiling plate established. That sounds like a good reason. Yeah. I don't have a reason, but that sounded good. Okay. Well, you can see we've framed in above that and then we're going to have to foam or something crazy. I mean, this is, you know, gapped like, I don't know, a couple of inches here and there. And I, I don't, don't want critters to go back in there and make a home. That's the main reason I want to seal it up. I don't think too much air will get through that. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> you drinking coffee now? Mm -hmm. Really? I drink coffee every morning. I thought you drank hot chocolate. No, it's chocolate coffee with peppermint mocha creamer, but it's coffee. So it's hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah. I'm going all the way to just to that or below, the wall? Uh, below the trim. Oh, hey, oh my goodness. Twisty, twisty. Wow. Oh, Okay. All right. Touch my coffee and see what yeah. All right. To the siding, I'd call it 114 and a half. All right. A little short wouldn't hurt. Yeah, that's a little short. 114, one half. Oh. Got another interesting spot here with our blocking slash nailers. <laughs> that's that's just to catch the sheathing on the outside where this oh. post interrupts it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then I did a two by four so that I could do this blocking and not have little short teeny pieces of blocking. Yeah. And yeah. the hope with all this is that I can insulate in this wall cavity and attach the end of this wall coming this way uh -huh. to that yeah. and have everything have somewhere to nail well, and the drywall. I've and never the, seen it done like this. I haven't either. That's why I was turning on the but camera. it looks good. It looks like it'll do the right thing. You might want to think about some spray foam in here. Yeah? I don't know. Ah, whatever. We've got this back wall frame now. I don't know if I mentioned it before or not, but there will be no entrance into the house. The only entrance will be right here, a separate entrance into this room from the outside. And there's already a nice sidewalk, you know, going around to our parking area from here. So if I needed to meet with a client or something, whoop, they could come right around to this door and right into the office. So that's gonna be pretty nice. And also a little more private when it comes to the kids you know, interrupting if I'm trying to work or Sarah's trying to work, which would be nice. I'm really excited about having a little privacy. Jamie's gonna start on the wall sheathing out here on this wall. And we're gonna start from this edge where we have this really irregular rock edge. And somehow he's planning on scribing or making this piece of zip wall kind of match the irregular surface. <laughs> Is that right? That's right. I don't want it to touch though. So I'm planning for a gap big enough to caulk with some Lexel. Okay. So it doesn't actually touch, but this will kind of be your air sealer thing. And then we can you know? foam from the back to that to seal yeah. it up even better. That's right. That's what I'm thinking. It really shouldn't be that hard though. I mean, literally just trace the rocks and jigsaw it out. I mean, that's really all there is to it. So I'm hoping it's as easy as I think. <laughs> I'm going to let you see how easy it is. Shouldn't be bad. I don't know if I have a jigsaw here. Uh, I've got one. Yeah, I've got one. I, I, have one. I might need one. I need to borrow a jigsaw. You'll definitely need one. I made my material about two inches wider than it needs to be. And I'm thinking if I take my little baby level and my pencil there, it comes out to right around two inches at the lead. So I'm just going to hold this. Well, that's got a magnet on it. It's pretty strong too. I'm going to hold that part against the rock and just trace it. Okay, let's see it. That wasn't too bad. I can't help but think how this following the shape of this reminds me of the needle on a vinyl record on a record player. And if this wall was a song, cut. <laughs> We're not even gonna, just I don't even wanna know. It'd be rock. <laughs> All right, test fit number one. Oh, 
Is it upside down or am I just really terrible at this? Uh, looks like you just got one little nub there where you went around the faucet that you didn't get. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a little <laughs> shadow, a little shadow. Yeah. Other shadow. than that, man, I'm looking at this profile and it is amazingly good. Wow. Oh, uh, faucet shadow there. We'll knock that off. All right. Maybe a little crude, but... I mean, I've got a little bit more to go if I want, and I just have to be able I would to say take it right there above the faucet. I just have to be able to hit it with uh, Lexel. That's my requirement, my gap. Yeah. Uh, I'd say you're Lexel. still a little over on that. Think you can uh, Lexel all that? I think I can. I think we'll we'll save our super precision work for the finish work, right? Since this oh, is yeah. covered and all, we got to do a trim board. Got to fit again. a really nice looking trim board there and have it turn out plum looking too on this side. Or Dang. we get some mortar. That might be easier. <laughs> Just fill it in with mortar. Maybe to a we straight. do that. And it might look better too in yeah. the finish. But we do need this to be actually sealed so that you can foam it back there or whatever yeah. you can do and I mean, have an actual can you air imagine seal. imagine like swirls or rats or oh, birds man. getting in back there behind there in the insulation? And yeah. You're like, seems like there's something scratching in the wall. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, there is. <laughs> it would be a perfect hideaway. They'd love it in there. How many tubes will it take? <laughs> as many as it takes. I don't care. Oh, that's going good. Oh, yeah. Why are you so surprised? And now I am trying to flood as much of it in there as deep as possible. You know? Well, that was fun, except I don't know what I'm going to do to get the Lexel off my... Hey, will you lick my finger? <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do either. I have some uh, low odor Dude, mineral spirits, maybe. what are you maybe? doing? I was just <laughs> tooling it in there, <laughs> you know? That's not how you Doesn't do it. That's not how Nate does it, I'll tell you that much. That'll last a while. <laughs> That'll be on there for a while. Initially, I had thought about taking out all of this stonework, like cutting uh -huh. a straight line and removing all of it and framing tight. But I'm really glad that we just did this jigsaw thing instead because that was way easier. If you can imagine, this is probably like 4,000 pounds of stone that would have had to get knocked off here and go somewhere. That would have been terrible. We're framing this wall across where this landing is and this decking sticks off an inch from the landing. And we're just now realizing, or I'm just now realizing. Yeah, you are just now realizing. <laughs> that I, think, I saw this from a mile away. I think away we're gonna have to cut this off to let the sheathing run through because where the posts are is in line with that and we're just butting the sheathing into that but i don't think we want to butt sheathing and butt sheathing and have the hole in the sheathing where the decking is no double butt for sure um, all right here's what i'm imagining can happen okay i think we're gonna have to use a big piece of flashing to get from up here you you're not gonna be able to put siding behind it i don't no. think in any way no not only can you not fasten it there's no room for it right right so i think Zero thickness material, big old piece of flashing. It goes up and under some siding here. Yep. And then it kicks out over top of the siding here. Mm hmm Just like we do on a deck band that you add to a house after, except the deck band's already there. It's all reversed. The rolls have reversed. I hate that. So, um, so yeah. all? Okay. It'll be something. Who's cutting it? Uh, Not it. Uh, I was going to say we should take it this off. This is a nice new decking, too. I hate to, <laughs> I know. I hate to cut on it and everything. I got it. I, I uh, no, it. no, no, no. I'll it. let Jamie do it. What do you mean, no, no, no? <laughs> Look at you. You're you're covered in chalk. You just like... <laughs> I cut, can't even look cut, at you cut, seriously. Cut. As an experiment, I'm going to test out this flush cutting diamond blade because I think it just might cut this material. Although, I don't know what... I don't even know what this it's, material it's is. It's like a composite, composite decking. Plastic kind so of stuff. I'm, I'm sure it will melt through it. I, I bet it will. This we're going to use to cut the slot in the concrete flush with the outside of the sheathing layer to put in our flashing and uh, let it down into the concrete. So uh, let's give it a try. It's hollow. Hello, hello. Oh, Clean. It's very clean. Wow. And uh, whoa, Ooh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, just snap that off for me. Look at that. Wow, look at that dog. I love at your house. He's just like, not even knowing when it's going to happen. He just starts reaming it, dude. <laughs> it is nice to work at your own house. Or yeah, dude, he didn't house. care what was going to happen. That could have burnt him two inches back. He didn't care, dude. He's just like, well, I think he knows that I don't care. Yeah. I just want to get it done. Oh, it's done all right. That worked really nice. How many of those do we have? We have more? I, I have a few. Yeah, okay. I have about four of these. All right, because you hit a nail pretty hard there. Yeah, it didn't seem to. Uh, it's diamonds. Yeah. Diamonds are not just for girls, okay? <laughs> all right, then. Here we go. So this entry space right here is kind of a big space. It's 10 by 10, which is kind of wasted because there's not gonna be anything in here, but that's on purpose. For me, I'm gonna do a nice accent wall with maybe even a Perkins Builder Brothers logo, like mm. backlit or something crazy on like a wood wall. Sounds fun. So that I can set a camera up and have a nice blank background behind me, which I don't have anywhere else in my house. Basically everywhere you look in my house, there's junk. So. Just for me, being really OCD, it's gonna be nice to like be able to stand somewhere where there's not a bunch of junk behind me. So that was a good day, even though it was cold. We've got all of our exterior walls in here wrapped up, and tomorrow we're gonna tackle the ceiling, which is gonna be two by six joists that I think are gonna be flush with the bottom of this beam because we need that space or that depth for enough insulation uh, to pass code. So that's a very important thing. And also, this is really sloped. It's probably three inches lower on this end on this end and I want this to all be flat. What I think I'm gonna do is get out here when it's dark in the morning or tonight, set up the big rotary laser so that I can see the beam and just make marks all the way around on the framing to nail our bands on for these ceiling joists. So hopefully that can work, uh, we will see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, they have different color. That's uh, a spalted, uh, uh, spalted we'll pine. Dude, you don't know. <laughs> he just totally made that. What's spalded? Is that even a thing? It's where it has those black them. streaks in it. Isn't that a thing? It has some kind of mechanism here. What do y'all will have to I figure, figure out? out. <laughs> I can't figure out how it works. I know there's got to be oh, a trick to it. That one's got the fancy old oh, that's timer got, color, yeah. Yeah, that's got uh, curly walnut in it. Wow. You don't see that every day. This has got yeah. spaltic. So, uh, uh, it's got like a lever. Spaltic? Spaltic elm. Spalted. 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 Spalt. Spotted. Um, this is spotted elm. Spotted elm. There's some other woods here. I'm not even sure. That darker red wood there. That's, I don't yeah, even man. know what that is, to tell you. No, that's that's very pretty. That's, a, yeah, that's like a uh, tropical like like kind of wood there, I think. Ten bucks if you there we go. We got some maybe some white that's oak. Oak, yeah. Yeah, red some oak, white oak, oak, maple, oh, walnut. Well, now that we've figured out oak. all the different <laughs> kinds of woods. Ten bucks. <laughs> what did you bring? I, I, I just told them I'd give ten bucks if you can figure oh, out you, it. Oh, it's got it. There it is. I knew there had to be a catch. Okay. There we go. Man, you can stack a lot of papers in there. And this cool little mechanism just latches there, pinches it down. Nice. So uh, that is very cool and very nice. I'm super impressed.